Today on Yester Kitchen, we are traveling to 1977 to discover salad roll-ups. You're gonna love them. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. I've got another quickie for you. So today uh, we are going to one of our favorite cookbooks that we've been talking about for a while, and that would be not Sunset, but here we go. Da 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 da. HP Books. Where is HP? There, there you are. HP Books. So HP was very similar to Sunset, very popular in the 70s. Really, the only difference is HP let individual cookbook authors publish books under them, or manufacturers such as Uncle Ben's create cookbooks. So this book is all about. Uncle Ben's Rice, it's, um, it's a fabulous cookbook right out of 1977, and in here, we have salad roll-ups. I don't know why they named it that, because it's there's no lettuce. But here, we're gonna, it's a rice salad, so here we go. Let's just do this really quick, because it really is a quickie. So here I've got, in my teeny weeny happy little bowl, a half a cup mayonnaise. To that, we're gonna add two teaspoons fresh, always fresh, lemon juice. And then we're just going to mix that together. And give me a second to mix this until it's all incorporated. There we go. Nice and beautifully blended. Now we're just going to go ahead and put this to the side. Okay, let's get to work on the filling. So in my happy little mixing bowl right here, I have two cups of cooked rice. And to that, I added one tablespoon of butter. It was right there, but it melted. So all you want to do is just kind of mix it. Just mix that butter in. Now when you cook your rice, be sure to cook it with about a teaspoon of salt in the water, and you just wanna come up with two cups of rice. So normally one cup of raw rice equals three cups of cooked rice. So maybe just go down a little bit. I'll tell you what I did. Because it's old school and because it's Uncle Ben's, I went ahead and I did get Uncle Ben's, but I got the boiling bag, which is par cooked rice. So if you want, do you wanna do that, you just use two bags of rice, you will have exactly two cups. But if you want to use regular rice, I'll put it down in the description for you. Okay, so now we have well-mixed buttered rice and it's pretty much cooled down. Now we're going to add some delicious things into this rice. The first thing we have is a quarter teaspoon of thyme. Then a quarter teaspoon of dried parsley. And lastly, a quarter teaspoon of marjoram. If you don't have marjoram, it's not a common spice. You can use oregano, but use an eighth of a teaspoon because oregano is way stronger than marjoram. They have a similar profile, a flavor for profile. Not exactly, but it's close enough. So in goes that. And now let's mix all of this together. And to that, we are gonna add, oh, two tablespoons of capers. Very, 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 very 70s, very salty, very briny, very delicious. And to that, we are gonna add a quarter cup of very finely chopped onions. I have white onions because that's what I happen to have on hand, but we will not be cooking these, so these may be a little on the strong side. So a milder onion would be a red onion, an even milder onion could be a green onion. The recipe doesn't specify, so you could do whatever you want. So in go our onions. And we're gonna mix everybody all together. Now, remember our lemon mayonnaise? Oh yes, that goes right back in. You don't wanna put all of it in right away, just put eh, most of it in. And you wanna just stir it around. And what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure everything is moistened, but not like over, you know, saturated mayonnaise-y. So it's really a good starting point to just have that half a cup of mayonnaise and then it just kind of sees where you go. And this actually looks pretty good, just the way it is. So let's go on to the next step. Okay, here's our next step. And this is where our roll-ups come from. So what I have is I have a package of ham. Uh, actually, the 1970s recipe calls for boiled ham. You know, the kind that is in the rectangle package that's just very bland. <laughs> The only package that's available these days is like this big and I really didn't need that much ham. So I just got roasted ham from the deli counter, totally fine. I also have smoked salmon. You can use either one, you can use both. Okay, and all we're gonna do is roll them up. So you take a little bit of your salad, roll it up, <laughs> I think you get the idea. Put it seam side down, whoop. 
on a plate, just like that. Now this, I'm just gonna use this leftover because my salmon is not that big. <laughs> so you just want a tiny bit. Make sure that plate is really close. You just wanna wrap it up because the flavor combination with the lemon and the salmon, it really is delicious. So we have one ham, we have one salmon. I'm gonna finish this up and we will return. Okay, we are all done. Look at this, is this adorable? This is just such an easy and very different dish. I really encourage you to give it a try. The lemon works equally as well with the salmon as the ham. And I just put a little parsley on the side just to make it pretty. So if you want something a little new, a little different, a little old, but new and different. <laughs> and one last thing, as soon as you're done rolling, you wanna keep it in the fridge until it's ready to serve. Here you go, 1977 on a plate from one of our glorious food manufacturers cookbooks. Thanks for stopping by. It's always such an honor to have you join me. Enjoy eating the past and I will see you in the next video.